What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty the Lego Guy here and today we're taking a look at the Spider-Man Far From Home Hydro-Man attack that's set 76129. It had 471 pieces, 4 minifigs, retailed for 40 US and it came out in 2019. And I have to say, we're gonna get into it, but I actually really, really do like this set. It gives you a very good look of a, you know, a mini scale Venice. And I think it'd be a great model to put into any modular or like any city, you know, kind of a mock or whatever, layout, scene, whatever. Like it's just, it's a great model, has some great minifigs. There is some negatives, but I think the positives far outweigh them. But anyways, enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll actually take a look at the uh, box. So, nice looking. I will say there's a lot going on, which I'm not really a fan of that. I kind of like more simplistic looking boxes. However, it is a superhero box, so what do you expect? Nice looking artwork, uh, regardless. Love how it shows the water all. <laughs> the water's everywhere. You know, coffee tables are being flipped, so it does represent the scene really well, I find, like I have to say. On the side of the box, Nothing too crazy. But then on the back, it starts showing off more of those features. And yeah, I, what I really would have liked is if they included like a little Venice boat owner or rower. I think that would have been awesome, but it's not bad the way it is. We're actually gonna take a look at that little boat. I actually don't mind it. It's, they did a pretty good job. And then on the top of the box, just look, shows Peter Parker again. And yeah, that pretty well does it. But yeah, that's the box. Let's now uh, take a look at the model. And to start us off, let's actually take a look at some of the smaller builds that are included in this set. So <laughs> these aren't really builds. You get a lot of different little webs. So you get like web fists. You get a grappling web, which is actually kind of cool. Like you can grab something further away and you just get some typical webs. It is a Spider-Man set. So it's what you'd expect, right? The next thing I wanted to take a look at, this is one of my all time favorite smaller builds that is included in any set. This little Venice boat is fantastic. I really do like it. The only thing is, is it could have been a little bit longer. That would be a really easy mod. Uh, and it would have been cool if they included a little uh, Venetian rower. I think that would have been fantastic. But all in all, they did a really good job, rep job representing this uh, little boat. I think that it just looks great. Now, come to it's not a negative it's not a bad build but i'm really not into the hydro man's rising water thing like the stickers look kiddish in my opinion it is still kind of cool looking i don't mind hydro man i think he looks decent we're gonna actually review him obviously in our normal little uh where we normally review minifigs but all in all not bad, just not great. This is my least favorite part of the set. Let's now take a look at the meat of it. And here she is. So to start, let's just give you guys a 360 view of the set. I love this. This just screams Venice. They did such a good job representing it. I think this would go great in a city setup. Love the color scheme. Love the little coffee shop. We're gonna get into that as well. But yeah, that's the 360 view. Uh, let's now break it down area by area. And the first area I wanted to take a look at was actually just this little area in here. As you guys can see, there's a rat along with a little diamond, an old pizza piece. I think that looks great. I love, they didn't have to include that, but they're like, ah, it's dirty in areas. Let's include that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Then you'll notice they have this bridge. Very nice looking. There's little webs. If you wanted to put this in like a city and you wanted to make it look more realistic, you just can easily remove these webs and it looks great. So we're gonna leave them on because it's a Spider-Man set. And this bridge actually has a feature. Notice there's this little Technic pin right here. Well, if you push it in, Let's actually put a minifig. <laughs> Let's put MJ on it. This didn't happen in the movie, I don't believe, but. Ooh. So there you go, it actually works pretty good. It's actually a great play feature if you're a kid too. Like, and it's just 
pops right out like so. It kind of reminds me of the Wild West dynamite pieces where you just you know jab those in there and uh, things would explode. Now moving on to this side of the dock. Check out this awesome looking little coffee maker. Italians are very much into their coffee and this looks fantastic. I, that, that, is, that, that is great. In fact, I'm gonna, if I ever make something like a city or if I make like, you know, a building or whatever and I have to make a coffee machine, I'm going to copy this basically because I think it looks phenomenal. The other thing I wanted to mention is just on the top here, it says Flora's Cafe. The other thing you'll notice, this is a sticker piece, unfortunately, but it looks pretty good. Let's, uh, it says, I don't, you know, I can't read Italian, but I can obviously see that it's saying Mysterio. That is fantastic. La Rotizia, Rotizia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Probably offending a bunch of Italians. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I really like that piece. The other thing that's cool about it is it has another Technic pin. And if you really hit it in, it will like bang like that. This is another area of this set I really like. The little lamp post, that looks phenomenal. Just all in all, I am so impressed by this. The other thing too, let's actually just raise the camera a little bit. I don't know what you wanna call this little structure that's on the top. But I think that they just did an all in all great job on it. Yeah, it's just a simple thing, but it just adds so much character. Anyways, that pretty well does the set. I'm very, very, very impressed by it. It's probably coming through on camera, but it's just, it's super solid. The fact that it's like Spider-Man and you get Mysterio and you get this awesome looking Venice set is just awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's the set itself. Let's now take a look at the minifigs. And here we have the first two figs I thought we could take a look at. So we have Peter Parker on the right, and we have MJ on the left. I really love the fact that Peter, or Spider-Man, has like his clothing open, and he also has this awesome looking partial, partial mask piece, let's call it that, where he's like, you know, slipping it on. Well, actually, while we're back here, show you guys the back torso printing and the back face printing. So let's just remove Peter's mask to reveal a scared face and then MJ's hair to reveal kind of like, she's not ticked off, but she's definitely, she's questioning things. She's not sure what's going on and she's suspicious. It's a suspicious face. Uh, yeah, let's just flip him around again. One thing I wanted to mention with Peter too is he does actually have a hair piece. So you can swap that out if you wanna Put that on, though. So, actually, nice looking hair piece. I love the fact that I do believe that's somewhat unique to him. It just fits, because his hairstyle is like that in the movie. But yeah, those are the first two figs. Let's now move on to the next. And here we have Hydro Man on the left, and Mysterio, my favorite fig in this set, on the right. Check out his torso printing, his leg printing, even feet printing. The guy just looks phenomenal. I love his cape. That purpley pink cape looks fantastic as well. Uh, he also has some nice uh, back torso printing. Just all in all, great looking, great looking fig. He's one of my favorite superhero or supervillain figs. And then you'll notice too, he has no face printing. It's literally just a gray or silver minifig head, but I think it works. It, you can tell immediately who that is. I also love Kind of like, you know, it shows that he's flying out of his hands, kind of like Iron Man. Those blue pieces are really cool. But yeah, all in all, very impressed with the figs, especially Mysterio. Would've been nice if they maybe included a face piece so you could kind of swap it to the actual villain who is pretending he's Mysterio. But let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this set has it all. I mean, it has some great minifigs. Mysterio, really do like him. Then you get MJ and Peter Parker. It has a very nice looking Venice landscape. It has some great, you know, features if you're a kid and you're wanting to like blow the model up. It just, it has it all. Again, the Hydra Man, which makes up the name of the set, I'm not a huge fan of. 
you know, those stickers look a little kiddish. I mean, it is made for a kid, right? But yeah, all the blue pieces, him coming out of the water. It's not a bad build, I guess. It's just not my favorite. But the rest of the set, like 90% of the rest of the set is fantastic. Definitely worth a buy if you guys are looking for an awesome, reasonably priced Spider-Man set. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future uh, superhero-esque reviews we do on it. We basically do one of these uh, probably once a month. We do a superhero theme set and I actually really like doing them. This I was very pleasantly surprised uh, by this one. Uh, but anyways, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.